You're on the air. Hello, you're on the air. Yeah, um, I saw <clears throat> last Saturday night your show. There was some kind of like porno thing on. I'm in LA and I was watching it and it looked like someone mistakenly put a porno on the show. Yeah, we did that. We uh, we intentionally do that just to keep make sure you guys are watching. Now I know we just heard about that actually. Somebody called in about it that somehow somebody slipped thirty seconds of porno into our TV show on yeah, uh, in know. Los Angeles. Yeah, it was pretty crazy. And I just thought maybe you guys didn't know about it. Maybe thought someone was trying to play a joke on your show or something like that. Well, we don't mind that kind of joke because now everyone will tune in to see if there'll be any more porno on. That's right. They want to see if it's done again. <laughs> yeah, but uh, we missed it unfortunately. All right, man. Thanks. Okay. Bye bye. But you're on the air in New York. They want to see a picture of Gorilla dancing at Gary's bachelor party with yeah. one of the girls? Yeah, look. I can't see that. Okay, show that to Robin. Here, Fred. Show that to Robin. Take a look at that. That's Gorilla. Uh, <laughs> oh, my goodness. Yep. Oh, I think you're engaged. <laughs> By the way, anybody get tape of uh, Richard Marks on The Tonight Show? I understand we might owe him a prize. Yeah, apparently he mentioned us on The Tonight Show. Yes, he mentioned uh, the Howard Stern Show. He said, you know, my dream was always to come on The Tonight Show. He says, but actually my other dream is to go on The Howard Stern Show. Somebody told me he said that. I don't know. Maybe it's not true. we got to find out if it's true. And if it is true, what will we give Richard? We have to reward him with a prize. <laughs> Do we have anything? Yeah, we'll come up with something. Maybe some tickets to like a Dice Clay show or something. <laughs> You're on the air. Hmm, nobody there, Robin. You're on the air. Hello, you're on the air. Good morning. I want to speak to Howard. Yes, you're on the air. Okay, I'm on the air now. You're on the air now. Okay. Good morning, Howard. You're having a rough morning? No, you're giving me a rough morning. I'm going to hang up on you. Okay, you're don't an hang imbecile. up on me. I got, Why gonna... would I say you're on the air and in 20 minutes it takes you to decipher that you're on the air? How stupid can you be? I'm pretty stupid. All right, good. And, my, and keep your radio turned up as loud as it can go. Okay, All hold right. on. I can't turn it up as loud as it'll go. It'll wake the apartment house. What's your IQ? Have you ever been tested? Yes, I have, and it's higher than yours. No, it's not. Yes, it is. I don't like you. I don't like you at all. You're on the air. Hey, how You know what? He's one of those obnoxious morons that you got stuck with in high school. Like, you know, that's, that, that's the problem with high school. Boy, no wonder I was miserable. I go into a classroom, and I had to put up with 30 individuals who really had no business being in a room with me. <laughs> These are people that I would never spend any time with under ordinary circumstances. Who do you belong in a room with? Tim Sabian. <laughs> who do I know what I belong in a room with? But I certainly, when I have to, you know, as an adult, I can choose who I should be in the room have with. Have you found good rooms to be in? No. <laughs> Although Saturday night I was in a pretty good room. <laughs> but you had to leave. I had to leave. It got too depraved. You ran out of it. Gary's bachelor party was just too much for me. Can you imagine they actually threw a party that was too much for me? Ugh. You think you're wild. Yeah. Oh, I'm not <laughs> wild at all. Not compared to these guys. Hardcore. <laughs> you're on the air. Yeah, Howard. I was at uh, Seinfeld's show on Thursday night, and he was talking to the audience about uh, who they want for president. Yeah. So I yelled out, Howard Stern for president. You know, it's a big movement out here. Yeah. And uh, Seinfeld says, Stern. Stupid Stern. Is that what he said? Yeah, and he starts calling you a jerk and stuff. And he Did says, he really? Yeah. Well, uh, he's off my show. Oh. oh, okay. Yeah, he is no longer allowed on this show. Yeah, he was wondering. You know, he better get his act together. You know, I knew as soon as he started getting big, you know, he doesn't know how miserable I could make his life. <laughs> he really is just messing with me. I always wondered why Jerry did this show anyway. He better stay away from me. I'll yeah. ha there won't be a street corner he can't walk down without people making him nuts. A street corner. He better his shut his can't mouth. Stand on. I was wrong with him. I mean, that stupid. All of a sudden, I'm stupid stern now. You know, his TV show got renewed. Easy with that S word. Will you I'm sorry, Jerry didn't say it that way. Well, no, no, Jerry. Didn't like Jerry's so word. friggin' hip. Like he'd be getting laid if he wasn't a, a a comedian. I mean, Jerry, take a good look at yourself. Skinny little dweeb. Yeah, I think George. Wallace what is with him? With him, he was funnier anyway. Jerry's funny and everything. I've been nothing but complimentary toward that guy. But you know what, man? I could change on a minute. It doesn't take much to rock me over the line. <laughs> we love you out here, Howard. All right, man, thanks. And Jerry, all of a sudden, full of himself, like he's God's gift to the world. He's always had that. The little arrogant crap. Attitude. Give me that crap, Jerry. You're my dog. 
Just remember, you come on this show to sell tickets. Yeah. <laughs> We've never been on your show to do it. Jerry, I tell you what, why don't you go on your, back on your stupid little sitcom there? That's just like every other dumb sitcom. The only person I know who watches is Gary. Network keeps renewing it out of mercy to you. It's not like it's a highly rated show or anything. You know, cheers. <laughs> yeah, do me a favor, Jerry. Why don't you go on your show and sell tickets? You can announce at the end of the show you where you're going to be. you got a network TV show, yeah. and you have to come on here to sell tickets. Yeah, get off my ass, all right? Stay away from me. Pat it with you. Go on the other shows. What's the matter with you? Call me stupid. If I'm so stupid, what are you coming on this show for? Retard. <laughs> so, Howard, what... These guys all get real? full of them. They get carried away. They get carried away out there. They think I'm not going to hear about something. Everybody just shut his mouth. You know, it is, it's an ego thing. They can't stand to hear someone else's name in yeah. the show. And they can't stand that I'm more popular than they are. They just can't stand it. That's when they always make the mistake. They make a mistake on stage. Sure, he could sit home for a year and write all those witty little jokes and everything. But you know what? When yeah, it comes down to them. it, put him on the radio up against me. Put him on the TV against me. Put him in a movie against me. And I guarantee you, people will flock to see me and not him. <laughs> I'll do a concert the same night he'll do one. And I guarantee you, more people turn out to see me than him. None of these guys can deal with that fact. He works on a joke for months because he's going to tell it for the rest of his life. Mm-hmm. <laughs> We're busy here. You better mind his P's and Q's. What are his P's and Q's? I don't know. Yeah, I never. Heard, I don't know what that means. We gotta find out what P's and Q's are. Well, these guys all get me pissed off, you know? They're all my little chums and pals off the air and everything. And I, I hear them get reports that call me stupid in concert. Well, if we're so stupid, then that must mean the majority of people are jerks. Including all the people who came to see him. They were stupid enough to do that. Yeah. <laughs> after listening to this show. And, of course, Jerry, after uh, the big show, he'd probably bring some one of his, one of his ladies to the show yeah. so they could see how popular he is and how strong and, and wonderful he is in front of an audience so he can get bald for the night. Yeah. And then they go over Jay Leno's house and kiss his ass all night. <laughs> oh, Jay, we're the two funniest comics. Look at all these other guys, what retards they are. You know, Look at the construction of this joke. Yeah. The, the, <laughs> what a poor, what poor construction on that joke. Look at the poor construction. That's not funny. That's not funny. It should have been said like this. <laughs> Isn't that right, Jay? Yeah, that's right, Jerry. You're so right. Shh, shh, be quiet. You'll wake up Mavis. <laughs> Making fun of fat people is too easy. Yeah, the Edison and Marconi of radio. <laughs> I mean, of, of, of comedy. comedy. Edison and Marconi. <laughs> Inventing the joke. Give me that arrogance. You can pass that off on your little comedy friends, but not me. What's the matter with him? Too much matzo ball soup went into his brain. Thank you. Thank you for the call. <laughs> Who was this guy? Couldn't think of anything witty to say? Stupid Howard? Yeah, I mean, that's not funny. I think I'm going to teach Jerry how stupid I can be. I'm going to teach him a lesson. He's the next person I'm going to teach a little humbling uh -oh. lesson to. It's starting. It's, it's, it's going gonna, it's gonna to be a little teaching lesson. Uh -oh. I'm going to treat him like the zookeeper now. Okay. And then he's going to come back here crawling and begging for forgiveness. I'm sick of him. That little arrogant attitude. Patronizing us. Boy, if that didn't come through on his last phone call to us last week. Yeah. You know, you're not funny. You're not funny. When oh, you Howard, that's just not funny. That's just not funny. Well, Jerry, well, why don't you say something funny if you're so funny? Yeah, you're the comedian. I'm sitting here trying to carry this thing. Keep it going. <laughs> Quite frankly. Right? <laughs> How many more times can we interview you about Tony Katane? Say something funny if you're so funny. I love these comedians. Everybody's a laugh riot. And you get them on the air, you try and make them a little bit interesting. Duh. Wanna, yeah, it's like, duh. <laughs> I just want to promote my gig. Can't you know. I just come on and tell the same joke I told on Leno yeah. last week? Yeah. Can't I just tell some jokes? <laughs> Jerry's busy building, rebuilding in Los Angeles and banging models. <laughs> but I'm stupid. All right, we'll take a break. We'll be back right after these words.